Okay, I'm hoping this is working. Let me test here. Yep, mic's working. Everything's working. So I'm going to be going a little more in depth into the um, uh, iron, uh, emerald iron golem farm I have. I'm hoping I can actually show it to you without it cutting out. I may have to do this video a couple times to actually get it uh, shown, but I'm going to try. Let's just drop it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm not exactly going to get a bunch of frame rates. So that might affect um, me showing the farm, but the general concept is um, I tested the way some farms are set up, uh, and I've done three different tests. Um, I tried the way I was told by the owner to set up the farms that is more efficient for the server and um, for the health of the server, basically for TPS, FPS, and all that. But to be honest, uh, he added stacked items in yesterday or the day before yesterday yeah something like that and um that helped with my lagging around the farm i'm getting more tps than i or fps than i used to um and i will show you what tps looks like even with my farm running now because of the stacked items alone uh the tps is not at 19.5 anymore it's actually like above 19.8 it really actually helped with just my one farm it uh, keeps it pretty high. It's not running right now. It's only just me over here, so I don't have my alts on. But the general concept is to make these pillars. I make two by two pillars um, with two spaces from the wall to the next pillar. So this area with just that one pillar is actually a six by six um, and an eight by eight with the or seven by no, it'd be eight by eight with the wall because uh, you have the wall. I go around twice. Yeah, whatever. Um, so it technically be like a little six by six on the inside of wherever you make it. So um, I think it's more efficient than doing one space, space, one. You can put four times the amount of spawners and still have plenty of space to um, have these farms. And um, the way I was able to count how many spawners I have in here is because each one of these stacks is 10 down. So that's 40 spawners per stone brick square area. It's just easier to count and stuff. Um, and it's also good on like efficiency because if I made them 13, 14, 15, 16 tall, uh, the two alts that I use, which the limit is two alts plus your main. People have been asking me and the owner finally, you know, made a sound answer that some people saw in chat. It is two alts plus your main account. Um, and you can verify that with him. Um, I, I had like four on at one point. He's like, you can't do that. I was like, all right, you know, that's cool. Uh, you just, what's the limit? He's like two. I was like, okay, fine. So be it. Um, I'll still I'll stick with two, and I can have my main on there, right? He's like, yeah, it's two alts and your main. Um, and a lot of people think when he says two, he's just saying two accounts. So I want to clear that up. But this is the farm concept. You have the signs that might be too much. Um, I'll try that again a couple of times just to make sure I'm heard because I will cut out. And I do apologize for that. Um, it, this farm when it kills my FPS, it also kills my computer. It's a old computer. Um, so just bear with it if it bothers you that much you ain't got to watch the video for the information it's just to help people and you know free information is free information uh, i don't do this because i have to i do this because i want other people to have a chance uh you know to to get stuff done uh, to get islands going and on top of this i will be buying uh, emerald and diamond blocks i'll be buying emerald blocks for 50k a stack and Diamond blocks for 40k a stack because I want I got to figure out something to do with my money um, And if it helps someone build up their farm get something done, I'd rather help somebody um, Because otherwise my money's just sitting here. I'm just getting more and more money, and I got no idea what to do with it um, And I'm hoping the owner figures out something I can do with it uh, You know some expensive thing that can happen or I, I don't know uh, I just want something to do with my money and right now helping other people with information and stuff is a good thing. Now, I was explaining in my previous video about the farm that um, you would have the golems being swimmed, swimming and pushed by, you know, whatever, it's swimming or pushing, same thing. There's water, so I say swimming. Uh, they're just being moved along, you know, their path, but the bottom like three or four spawners will keep adding to these stacks. Yeah, see, you know, 20 go from like 20 to 40 and it just keeps adding to them as they're going by but you see those are still more spawning above them this i think 
after the tests that I've done, is the most efficient farm that I can come up with. Um, if stack spawners were added, and I thought about this, I don't know if it would be more efficient or less efficient, because if the stack spawners work the way I think they would, you know, if one of these golems go by and it spawns and it just stacks into it, that could be problematic if I had a bunch of normal golems going by and they're all going up 250 at a time. I don't know how he's going to set it up or anything, but I'm just speculating and guessing and coming up with ideas and stuff of scenarios and stuff that could go wrong. Um, he also mentioned that, you know, if he tries to do the stack spawner because these are custom um, with a non-custom plugin because it's hard to code a uh, stack spawner's plugin that someone could just place normal IGs and get custom ones or <coughs> there's a bunch of problems that could occur. So this is the farm I came up with. There are 5,120 golems in here. I could probably done more, but I don't need to at this point. I'm making too much cash. Um, I'm just trying to find something to do with my time. And giving info to you guys seems to be uh, the best course of action. So you got the water that pushes them, the signs, like I mentioned. And then you have them just being stacked and moved along. Um, for people that have farms like this guy, just to pick somebody out. Um, let's see if I can find his golden farm. I think I went to the wrong island. Let's try that again. No. Interesting. Okay, this is not where it was last time, so... Alright, oh, I see. Put your island around. Okay, so he's been asking me, is he doing his farm right? Is he doing his farm right? Um, and I'm not trying to be mean, but this is not right. Um, this is good uh, to prevent lag, because a lot of people can't do lag, and this is actually a good idea. I'd have probably made those two thick versus three, but um, this is still a decent farm. It's just not as efficient as the pillars, but guess what? Those pillars are definitely going to be laggier with all the entities. The spawners are entities, and the mobs are entities. It's really the spawners that lag the server. So, or lag your FPS, I mean. They don't really lag the server anymore because you fix most of that, so. Um, this is just... If, if this is like the old farm, I would have made. So... Yeah, we'll just go here. Um, that was like the old farm I made. Now, I was thinking of making a new farm, I was like... Man, I just don't feel like redoing my farm again to test it because I tested it with about six stacks of normal or for six stacks of these. I took six stacks of these and tested it with them, and it's less efficient to have it that way because I also took another six stacks and did the pillars. The pillars were just a little faster, but that little bit multiplied with what I have down there equals a lot of it. You know what I mean? So it, it definitely adds on. Um, and this is the new weather farm. People are always trying to figure out how to get in there. And there's a guy that was over here yesterday in my farm. And I don't like that. Um, I make these farms. I make videos. So I now have to keep my island locked. And I don't want people in there. So I made this farm work another way. And I am not going to share that info just yet. Because I still want to see if... Um, I can work on it more still and improve it even more because I'm still having a problem with AFKing and killing. So um, it's still not perfect. It's getting better, but I still got some things to work out in there. Um, and I wanted to show people the actual obsidian farm again because I didn't get to show you the chests and stuff. Let's see if I actually see your items drop. Okay. Because when he added the stacked items, you don't see items fall no more. Um, and that wasn't in the last video, it was just, I just don't think I saw the, the items go, but beforehand, you'd see, like, the item, you know, emerald, flower, red rose, or whatever the flower was, the item that fell, you wouldn't know what it was that fell, but now you don't anymore, so if a bunch of emeralds fly by, you don't even know there was emeralds there anymore. Um, and I kind of like the feature where you could see what items were there through other means. You know, oh, hey, that's an emerald block going through, or that's an iron block going through, but anyway... Um, that's the general concept to improve the farm, and like I said, um, to improve a farm of any kind, I definitely wouldn't use this setup, this was just a general show of how to do it. This is how I would set up any sort of chest system, because you only have to sort it once per chest. 
um, and I don't think doing it twice per chest, like, you gotta do it all across again, then you got, you know, toppers here, and then more chests, hoppers, chests, it's just a mess, and I think that would be annoying to, to make, because there's no point in doing that. Um, in my opinion, there's no point in making a pillar down with the chest, um, let's see, I'll make a little example. Um, this isn't to tell people, hey, you're doing this wrong, this is just, it's inefficient, in my opinion, and I just want to, you know, put it out there. I got hoppers around here somewhere. I'm slow. Where did I put them? Probably pass them up, knowing me. No. Okay, so we'll get some trap chests. And I'm just going to buy the rest. Boop, boop. Okay, this is not what I would make your farm like. So you got the trap chest. You got the normal chest, you got the hoppers, and then you add more chests on top. Um, because then now you have to sort of double the amount of hoppers, and guess what? I did guarantee you, if it's a farm like this, that won't be needed. Because you're not going to ever reach that second hopper to fill. One hopper is going to collect all the items across. Once that one hopper fills there, it'll go to the next chest, but after it fills this hopper now. It's just, I mean, it adds a little bit more storage, but I think that would work better. Um, and I also want to do a farm like this on their island, and I kind of liked it just because of how it looked. I mean, I just liked, it, it does take more space up, but I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, I'll come back and get the chest later with an axe. Um... Then I came up with the idea I had for my wither farm because the only thing I'm ever getting out of those chests for nether stars or obsidian is out of those bottom chests. It's not going to be, oh yeah, I need to get out of the top one. No, I'm just going to be getting them out of the bottom one. And I don't care what's in the top ones because it's all going to come down by the time I'm done crafting. By the time I come back over there, it's just going to come right back. Um, there we go. Um... Hang on one second. Try not to make this video too long because I don't want people to just tune out and be like, we've got too much info. I made the storage system like this because, like I said, the only thing I need is out of these chests, and that's it. We never put them on the AH. Because nice. um, I don't need anything else. You know, I just need to access these bottom chests. Even now, I think I should have faced them the other way, like across. But I was like, I want it to look different, but whatever it works um that's it for this video i'm hoping it's not too long so